Hi there again this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Sorry about that was just disturbed in the middle of my Periscope broadcast by a telephone call so um, I'm going to restart this again but anybody joining me on my YouTube channel this will be the beginning of the video rather than loading up two separate videos and ending up with two loads of information. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles talks about some um, kind of really positive energy it tends to talk about money um business finance all of those sort of things um it's a really successful card it's a card that talks about you stepping into your power kind of being quite um respected um being rewarded for your hard work that sort of thing as you can see it's the boss card it's it's quite a powerful strong card um so in terms of card for the day it's largely saying that you can expect to be rewarded, you can expect to be recognised, you can expect to be feeling powerful and you can expect to be successful in whatever it is that you are doing. Um, I would say to you that the Eight of Pentacles is also um, just a really, really strong card when it comes to um, work and business. So. If you're at work, like most people are, I guess, on a Monday, um, you can expect the day to be profitable. You can expect to make loads of progress. You can expect loads of good energy around you. Just to let you know, we've got another little visitor today. Merlin's decided to pop up and just take his little moment to join in with the cards. His little moment of fame. He's started to get to like, I think, this little bit of fame that he gets every now and again. Um, so in terms of the cards, I'll let you see him. Um, he can, we are talking about this Eight of Pentacles energy, which is really, really positive, really strong. Lots of success, money, finance, business, all working well. So you can expect, you know, expect to go into work and your boss to be really happy with what you're doing, I would say today. If you've got a boss, if not, if you're your own boss like me, then, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, give yourself a treat recognize how hard you've been working um and give yourself that little bit of self recognition of of how good you're doing so i'm just gonna have a little shuffle now of the wisdom of the oracle card so i'm trying to keep this a, a little bit shorter today because i've got some stuff going on around me which is a right pain in the neck to be honest um and i'm i'm keep getting phone calls and stuff on it so i'm trying to do a quick video without getting disturbed like I did last time. So let me just shuffle up and pop down a um, Wisdom of the Oracle card to go with this Eight of Pentacles. And the card that we have, again, is Chaos and Conflict. So ex we had this yesterday and it is still got the full moon energy around us a little bit. Um, so he's just very interested in what's going on out of the window now. Um, so we still got this full moon energy around us, which is about that. It is about chaos. It's about conflict. It's about all that stuff. And um, so I'm not sure what I can add to that that I didn't say yesterday, really, other than to say that, you know, this this card is saying that there is some chaos and conflict around you. So the Eight of Pentacles is lovely and it's talking about some really good energy. But on the flip side of that, we've got this kind of annoying chaos -y energy which isn't particularly helpful in any way shape or form i'm just going to have a little read of what she says in the book about this um it says disarray being at cross purposes with one another tension or opposites um so yeah it's not much really more to say about that other than it's an energy that is kind of with us at the moment it's with us because of the full moon the full moon has given us a little bit of a um a shake up and and it is a little bit chaotic in the energy there's been a lot of disarray um so that energy is sat with us now i'm going to pop down another card because we had that yesterday and i'm hoping that there might be something more hopeful about where we're going okay so here we go with the um the blessed card which is a much nicer energy it talks about you being blessed you feeling loved you feeling cared for nurtured and all of that stuff and and knowing that the universe has kind of got your back so <clears throat> throughout all of this 
chaos we have this blessed energy where we know that the universe has actually got our back what's really important interesting here is we've got number 22 and number 33 and these are significant numbers because in terms of angel numbers they have a significant anything which is double numbers 11 22 33 all have those kind of significant numerological um influences when they come up for me they always kind of say to me your angels are watching you your angels are looking after you your angels are looking looking out for you so <clears throat> don't despair with the chaos and conflict this is really positive so you know this is all very stable very steady very good very recognized um talents being recognized money all good um this is all about conflict and chaos and this is difficult energy and we're moving into a better time after that um of the 22 which is a much 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 um better energy for us i will leave that where we are for now before somebody else calls me and disturbs me in the middle of all of this and i have to stop and start again um but i will put up a little link down in the description underneath my youtube channel um of this video to talk about the 22 and the 33 angel numbers so that i can give you what they actually mean rather than looking that up now and taking loads more time um so thank you very much for watching i'm really sorry it's been a bit disturbed and disrupted um just i have some chaos and conflict going on around me at the moment i'm trying to deal with so i i couldn't just i couldn't just do like a long one um have a really good day and i will speak to you soon bye for now